Well, today we're gonna go to my dad's house and start working on the 86 K5. We're gonna hopefully get the engine out today, get all the interior gutted, everything like that, so we can get it outside, power wash it, get it cleaned up, so we can start rebuilding it. We're not gonna do like a frame off or nothing like that. It's just gonna be a nice daily driver. We can haul the family around in. We have a neck, we have a baby now, so three of us no longer fit in the square body. Well, three of us do, but the fourth one won't. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Uh, stay tuned. since I posted a video, but today we're working on the blazer. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the engine at least ready to be pulled as far as get everything disconnected, all the fluids and whatnot drained. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get the interior stripped. I gotta get all this glass cleaned up and whatnot, get all the seats out, carpet, all that. I'm gonna try to get out today. But that's what we're working on today and uh, I'm gonna get started and I'll get back with y'all. Well, I've been at it for a couple hours and uh, we got the hood off, about to get the motor finished up, about to pull the radiator. Should finish that up pretty soon, but we gutted the interior. Got the dash out, the seats, all the carpet. Threw a battery in it just to get the back window down, but I don't think we'll do like a complete rebuild of this one. Probably just get it nice where my family and I can take it on trips. So now that we got the second kid, we all can't take the single cabs anymore. So get this one. They did like a spray on texture, but it's all flaking off. They didn't prep the paint right anyway. So but that's what we've got done on it so far. Uh, we may end up pulling the topper just so it's easier to get in and out of, but Got this door panel off. I still got to get the driver's side off. Get the steering wheel, the gauges out. Finish cleaning up, vacuuming. But all floor pans look pretty solid. A couple of the bolt holes got ripped out and someone thought they were a welder. So we'll get those grinded down, probably re-welded, gusseted and all that good stuff on the underside of it so it don't rip out again, hopefully. But, and then well, got a little tranny fluid leak. Hopefully we'll get this pulled out tonight. I gotta still pull some accessories. About to get the radiator and fan shroud out. And then uh, I'll update you whenever we get there. Well, we got everything disconnected off the motor, so it should be ready to come out. Motor mount bolts are loose. Once we get the tractor in here hooked onto it, we'll get it yanked out of here and I'll give you an update. Um, I've got a 305 sitting on the stand. We may throw back in. This one's pretty much junk. We'll rob parts off of it. It's got a new distributor. The intake's good. It's a dual plane, Edelbrock, square bore, which I'll run Holly Sniper fuel injection on this one as well. Really like it. They seem to do great with those dual planes, so we'll uh, keep the intake. Well, we got the engine out. Uh, so basically we're gonna rob parts off of the 350, either put it on the 305 or just get a GM good wrench crate engine swap in here. Like I said, we'll be running the Holly Sniper, which this needs a complete new wiring harness. Whoever had it before me just ruined everything. So basically we'll get it power washed, get the engine bay painted, get a new wiring harness ran throughout it. I mean, we're gonna end up painting the sides at some point or painting the truck at some point, but That'll be a while. We'll at least get the engine bay sprayed, gloss black, maybe get the AC shaved like we would for vintage air, all that good stuff. And uh, once we get some money saved up, we'll buy either a GM Good Ranch 350 or we'll just build this 305, put a cam in it, slap the heads on it, slap this performer intake, have to do a little fuel modification to get that sniper to run with 58 PSI, but other than that, that's what we did for today. We got the interior gutted, which 
we've got a lot of usable parts seats are in good shape a lot of the inter interior trim and whatnot's in decent shape these will probably clean up if not i'll just buy new ones get some black sun visors or gray i don't know which color we're going to go with yet but definitely need new seat belts but other than that that's what the update is for today the 83 we stole the battery to roll the window down but that's what we did thanks for watching hey guys since i've been filming today i figured i'd give you an update on the 78 ford we've got it in the old shop with electricity so we can start working on it he's been messing with the spark plugs whatnot under the hood but what we're going through right now is the rear brakes the shoes are shot the wheel cylinders are leaking so we're getting all those replaced at some point we'll be pulling these lift blocks out it's got what i see is about five inches of lift and blocks on the rear it's got three quarter ton springs up front <clears throat> sits up pretty high he wants to lower it back down a little we'll have to change tire size clear them but other than that haven't done a whole lot to it he's kind of going over the paint with sos pads to get rid of the oxidation you can kind of see the difference from there to there but a little trick we've seen on vice grip garage go with the sos pad then quadruple ot it's got the soap built in spray it with water go over it till it feels smooth don't really dig in and once that's done wipe it all off buff it shines back up you can see quite a difference in the two paints but vice grip garage great channel go check it out if you haven't already seen it but that's just a little update on 78 we mainly worked on the blazer today got the interior gutted in it got the motor pulled i'll be uh i gotta find a wiring harness it's a uh, whoever had it before me just rat nested everything so i'm gonna rip all the wiring out put a new fuse or fuse block back in it all new wires front to back either go with a crate motor ls or or just a crate motor 350 it don't have to have a whole lot of power just plan on cruising it but that's a little update out of zach's garage well technically my dad's garage but it's what we worked on today uh, it's been a while since I posted anything. I'm going to try to update more on the K5. Square body pickups are kind of back on the back burner right now. Be going down to Fort Worth for C10 Nationals in May. I'll have Ron Burgundy there. Blackie, he kind of just, he's my work pickup. I just drive back and forth to work. Kind of done with it. Until I decide to, well, I guess whenever my boy gets older, he'll probably get it, but. That's what we worked on today. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to try to keep posting at least, at least once a month. Maybe once every two weeks or so. But work's been a little slow. Money's tight right now, so not a whole lot. But what we did on the Blazer was free, so we'll just keep doing that. We'll catch you on the next one.